Gil Gutierrez again. And what I wanted to show, talk is a little bit about the lower back and certain things that can happen that people don't really pay attention. Now, if you've taken anatomy, you, we do talk about different types of abnormal curvature. If you look at the real curvature, we see that in the neck area, it is concave, then it goes convex, and then the lumbar area, it gets concave again. So these are the areas we're looking at. Now, a lot of people don't realize that besides bone, you have fiber cartilage and nucle the nucleopoposa between the discs. And these do help you get some movement, but if the movement is abnormal, if the movement is exaggerated, we can end up getting problems. Now, the abnormal curvatures that people usually talk about are kyphosis, which the thoracic region is over-exaggerated, so you end up having a hump on the, low, on the thoracic region. The other one is scoliosis, where the straight spine is actually shifted. So this part here would be shifted over here. So they talk about an S-shaped spine. And there's the other one that everyone talks about is hyperislordosis, which you have a normal curvature here. And lordosis, lordosis happens when you hypercurve. So you actually have more of a curve here than usual. But there is a fourth one people usually don't talk about, which is hypolordosis, where what happens is, instead of having a curve here, you lose that curve, and that does cause a lot of back pain, especially to young athletes who are trying to be too straight. Now, there's a reason behind why you, people get certain back problems. Now, there are certain positions that people use where they'll pull their leg back, and I'll use myself as a model, they'll pull their leg back and try to stand perpendicular to the ground. There is a problem with this. The rotation of the hip here, actually maximum you can do without affecting the lower back is about 15 degrees. Once you go past 15 degrees, and this one's getting a lot more uh, movement than normal, but once you get past 15 degrees, muscles and tissues get in the way. So as this leg goes more than 15 degrees from normal hip position, what you start doing is you start moving the sacrum. And so the sacrum ends up angling. And as people are angled, if you want to be 90 degrees from the ground, what happens is, if you look at the lower back, you notice you have the hypercurvature, the lordosis, which can end up causing back pain. The reason has to do with this. Take two, right? We can see how there's a hole between the vertebrae. Now, this hole here, this hole here, are connected to this hole here. So you can actually see how these three areas would end up coming out. What's coming out here are the nerves. What's coming out on these sides here are the nerves. Now, they do come together. As you hyperextend, what ends up happening is, I'm just going to take two of these off. As you hyperextend, what happens is you shift and change the amount of space for the nerve, which causes irritation. Now, if it can all, you can also do something else. Some people will tell you, make your back flat. If you look at the inner vertebral disc, if you make your back flat, you end up putting more pressure on this side here, and you end up creating a wedge. What that means is by coming this way too much, you can cause the inner vertebral disc to slip. It's a slipped uh, disc, which is what people call a herniated disc. So one of the things is by not aligning your back properly, maintaining the natural curvature by over trying to overextend the back, you can end up causing more damage to yourself than you would expect. And by trying to keep your back too straight, you can also cause other damage by causing the discs to come out of alignment. Now, what's interesting is in, in old, the old pictures of Okinawa and Kanate, we do see that some of the stylists will have a straight line from their leg 
all the way to their head, and a line from their head to their knee to their foot. Now, if you notice, this actually maintains a normal curvature of the spine. As people get went deeper and deeper, the lean gets more and more. And so it doesn't look appropriate. So people actually were bringing it up here. Problem is, you are gonna do damage to your back. If what you try to do is rotate your hips so they're forward, and you still are having, you're still causing problems to your back by trying to do abnormal positions. So one of the things that does happen is you do have to, depending on what activity you're doing, protect your lower back, especially because as people get over 40, lower back problems become more, more apparent. So if you want to avoid lower back problems, protect your back.